Hello, and welcome to another 8-minute demo. Today we're going to be talking about Opalis CMDB Federation and event remediation. My name is Charles Joy. I'm a field management TSP specializing in Opalis. So there's a couple common infrastructure problems. Disparate data sources and unhandled notifications. Now how are the, will these silos be bridged? You know, with the disparate data sources, we have topology data discovered from uh, one silo, let's say EMC Smarts, and then a federated CMDB silo, let's say BMC Atrium. Uh, how does that data get um, from one to the other? And then for the unhandled notifications, event notifications may be are raised in Smarts, and then you need to uh, satisfy um, a you know, the tickering, ticketing requirements in something like Remedy. So, how will these silos be bridged? We well, could bet those silos are going to be bridged with Opalis. In fact, we have a couple of Opalis solutions that will solve both CMDB federation and event remediation. Just some high-level resolution requirements, as I see them, are unbiased connectivity across heterogeneous data center, simple knowledge capture method for in internal experts, minimal implementation services, factory engineered integrations, and data sharing across workflows. And then those solutions include the Opalis Integration Server, the System Center, Opalis CMDB Federation Solution, and Opalis Event Remediation Solution. The first Opalis solution for bridging the silos we're going to look at is CMDB Federation between EMC and BMC. While I don't have the actual VMs or software, I do have screenshots from an existing solution. As we dive in this first example, the first silo we're going to look at is from EMC Smarts and is one of our disparate data sources. What we have is a screenshot from the topology browser console and we can see an IP address there. It's actually a uh, topology that was discovered with EMC Smarts. So this information, the IP address and the other information that's associated with it will uh, be needed in the CMDB and we're going to get it to the CMDB using Opalis. The second silo we're going to look at is BMC Atrium. This screenshot is to represent an empty CMDB repository waiting for topology data to come in from EMC. So the Opalis CMDB Federation solution is a combination of different workflows working together to federate the CMDB with information from smarts. There's essentially three high-level steps and the third step has three minor steps. The first step is to scan smarts for discovered topology. We can see in that workflow at the top where have, we have an object that's querying smarts for discovered topology. And then we set some counters, we get some we format some date time stamps so we, that it'll be all formatted for the information. And then we trigger another workflow. That workflow we trigger is step 2. And that in this workflow we're going to check Atrium CMDB for smarts discovered topology. Now, we're going to take the information we received from the first workflow, we're going to format the dates, and then we're going to use that information in querying the CMDB, and that's that get CI instance object is a um, C Atrium CMDB Opalis integration pack object. So we're going to query the CMDB based on information both from the discovered topology, so the IP address or host name, and then when the date it might have been added. So based on that CI instance, uh, that get CI instance, we're going to have a couple different outcomes, whether the CI exists or not. If it does exist, then we might want to update it. If it doesn't exist, we're going to go ahead and create it right away. So if it does not, or if it does exist, we do want to see if it should be automatically updated or not updated. So we go ahead and check the CMDB for that information, and then based on that decision, we trigger um, one of those two other policies or workflows. Now, based on the decision making in this second step, we go to the third step. Now, it could trigger any one or all three of these different uh, workflows based on the data that's flowing through. And you can see in step 3.1, we're actually creating an Atrium CI instance. In step 3.2, we're modifying an existing one. And in step 3.3, we're just logging the fact that the um, a request came in, or the discovery was made, but we were not going to update it based on information from the CMDB already. 
There's a couple more steps, and these are more cleanup steps. So step four, we're just generating logs for this discovery event in case we need to um, use, use them later. Step five is we're actually going to create an incident in Remedy for the discovery event using the logs that we created. And then step six, we're actually going to clean up the, the actual demonstration um, for um, you know, demonstration purposes and maybe f to reset the entire thing for the next discovery. You can now see that the two silos between EMC and BMC have been bridged. The federated CMDB has the topology information from EMC Smarts. Once we drill into that CI, we can see the IP address and then some of the information that we actually brought over through Opalis from the EMC console. And then finally, we can see that we created a ticket as prescribed in the workflow and that ticket has information on the actual um, transference of data from EMC to BMC and essentially the log and the log information. The next solution we're going to talk about is event remediation between EMC and BMC. So the first thing we're going to look at is the first silo, EMC Smarts, in the unhandled notifications. So there's our friend, the uh, IP address that we were looking at before and an event notification is raised uh, based on that asset. We're going to go ahead and sh show the second silo, which is empty. It is the ticketing system, in this case Remedy. Now we can take a look at the Opalis event remediation solution based on those two silos. It's much easier than the CMDB solution we looked at earlier because this, the steps are actually quite a bit easier. So. We're scanning smarts for notifications. We're going to go ahead and create an incident. And then at the same time as we're checking Atrium for impact, we're going to acknowledge the notification, own the notification, and update the notification with the incident number we've created. And as I said, at the same time, we're taking the steps on the, the path that's just above that. So we're going to check Atrium for the impact, maybe get information based, uh, the CMDB information based on affected assets going to update the ticket now in work in progress and with all the CMDB information. We're going to go ahead and diagnose. We're going to ping that uh, host name. Based on the results, we're going to update the incident with the diagnosis. Then we're going to take some remediation steps and restart the service. With that information, we're going to update the incident. And then whether it was successful or not, we're going to um, perform the next action, which is either escalate it to the next tier service desk or just resolve the incident as automated. You can see now that the silos have been bridged. We have cross traffic between the EMC and BMC products. You can see the ticket number in this screenshot. And you can see the information from the alert in this screenshot for Remedy. And finally, if it wasn't handled, we could certainly send an email with all the information saying that we've taken all the appropriate actions and it has now been escalated and all the information is already there. We certainly appreciate you watching. Thank you.